a common question asked by most new meditators is, what should I do when my mind wanders off? Shall I snap my fingers, hit gong, ring a bell, take off my glasses and slap my face self in the face like a member of the Three Stooges? What, what shall I do? Well, that actually begs two observations. First one, the very fact that we notice when our mind has begun tooling off into the horizon is good. That's excellent. Most of us go through life to quote the uh, villain from the first Men in Black movie as if we were barely conscious pawn scum. So the very fact we have enough lucidity, enough mindfulness, enough awareness to recognize when our mind has just wandered off, that in and of itself is a victory. And now for point number two, allow me to remind you of a common theme. arguably one of the best commentaries to the Buddha's teachings was not written by Buddha, was written by Lao Tzu on the other side of the Himalayas. We know it in English as the Tao Te Ching. In the Tao Te Ching, not only do we explore the idea of yang and yin, but that it's always better to choose yin. So, when it comes to mental culture, when it comes to the contemplative arts, if I can use that phrase without sounding too pretentious, yang is about concentration. One of the cruel practices in animal husbandry, or I should say one of the many cruel practices in animal husbandry in ancient Asia and sadly present Asia is to take a baby elephant, shackle its foot, and to that shackle have a chain and to that chain peg the hammer into the earth. And sadly, in the young path of concentration, many would-be meditators strive to keep their mind focused on a certain point. However, I teach the yin path. Instead of concentration, we use mindfulness. Mindfulness is not a synonym for concentration. Mindfulness implies pass passivity, vulnerability, or in other words, going along for the ride. So on the young path, there is no ride. There is only here. Kind of reminds me of uh, <laughs> the first Ghostbusters movie. There is no Dana, only Zool. Well, <laughs> in, the in the young path, there is no mindfulness. There is no going along for the, the, the ride. There is no joy ride. There is no joy. There is sternness. There is uptightness. There is here, now, or utter abysmal failure. Okay, guys, take it down a notch. Upon the yin path, the yin path can be very much likened to a child going to the theater. When the movie starts playing, with one hand, they can sip their beverage. With the other hand, they can nibble their snack without missing what's going on on the screen. They can still take in the protagonists, the antagonists, the plot, and the action. No less the dialogue and the um, subtext. We can drink that all in. How? Actively? No. Passively. 
the people who typically get the l most lost in movies are the ones who are trying to focus and concentrate. The ones who are able to go along for the ride and just enjoy the journey are able to drink it all in and follow even the most convoluted of stories. Upon the path that I teach, that with which we recite silently and mentally in harmony with our inhalation, it's like the, the snack we nibble on during a movie. That which we recite silently and mentally in harmony with our exhalation is like the beverage we sip upon in the theater. And all that's going on in our circumstance and in our body and in our mind while we are performing our silent and mental recitations in harmony with our, with our natural breathing, it's just like the stuff that occurs during the movie that we paid to, to gain access to. Just as we would not be offended that the movie is interrupting our enjoyment of our snack or our beverage, let the mind do what it does. Enjoy the ride. If we go on the contemplative equivalent of Mr. Toad's wild ride, while still silently and mentally reciting things in harmony with our in-breath and our out-breath, then that, my friends, is a successful meditation. In fact, it is that type of sloppy, messy, experience that will create infinitely more spiritual evolution than a decade's worth of perfect concentration. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso of the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Before you go, below the video, there's a link that reads show more. When you click that, you could gain access to resources that may assist your journey upon the meditative path. Until next we speak, may you and yours be healthy and happy.